Well, my vision is that the IA will be the catalyst for UK PLC in the environmental data analytics market. The IEA was started really with the primary role of making environmental data much more useful. There's a huge amount of data gathered from satellites now which sits in archives and hasn't really been used to its full potential. With the advances in big data, mining that data, we can extract a huge amount of useful information. It's beyond the capabilities of most organisations to manage that amount of data. So as a partnership, we can help them with that. Data in itself is no value. It's in the interpretation of it, converting that into information and then knowledge. That's what it's all about. We're very much open to working with other organisations, partly those organisations that feel they want to become partners, and that's great. We certainly welcome that. But also third parties. Having people like Sainsbury's, Light Hill Risk Network, as end consumers of possible projects, possible tools and methodologies, as well as Microsoft and other IT companies involved who might also be service providers is absolutely key. The IEA actually is a sweet spot that brings together real access to data and technology experts, academic experts and a real range of business collaborators. The purpose of the partnership of the IEA is to draw the line all the way from the collection of the data to a useful application that's, that's really valuable to a customer. One project we've just started is looking at food supply chains and how localised weather has an impact on that and, and you know, this can range from flooding through to storms that maybe wipe out a proportion of the crop and be able to better predict when that might happen. We've been in discussions with the IEA already about uh, projects both looking at aquaculture and the role of satellite technology and data in free school fishing but also looking at um, technology which is a, a big one for us around weather and the impact upon um, agricultural crop output. There are other areas as well, for example the first project we finished was around a uh, weather and climate hazards lab and that was working with the insurance industry in the UK to look at tropical storms, see what sort of potential damage they might cause and how that might change over the coming years. Allowing users to be able to interrogate the data is one of the most fundamental aspects of what we're trying to do and having a nice sort of front end, a visual display uh, is really quite important. Our main role is bringing big data sets together into a big reservoir. So we bring data in from satellites, from climate models, from Met offices, from researchers. The industry is really on a cusp where uh, all this data is being produced and the technology has come of age where it can now really be used and extracted. Data sets are growing all the time, the user demand is growing all the time. People, once they see what they might be able to do, they just want more and more. There's huge potential for the IA to grow nationally and internationally, mediating between people who are experts in environmental science and environmental data and people who need that information. We've looked at research opportunities and centres around the UK and I think the IA has an approach that is slightly different from everybody else's and we are very confident it's going to produce some really useful stuff. We're in a good position to have guaranteed funding for five years to really get going on a lot of these projects. IEA I think is in very well positioned now to be able to exploit that potential and develop into a world leading organisation.